Well, boys, we are here. We got the beer. Got everything we need. I didn't even have to really bring anything. Shago brought the rods, my little TFO rod. This is the actual, I think it's the trout panfish rod by Temple Fork Outfitters. So I'm gonna try this bad boy out tomorrow. Um, I broke Shago's other spinner rod setup, but <laughs> I gotta get him another one. We're like three hours away from home. We decided to pack things up and leave town. Bryson City, North Carolina. So I'm used to going to South Carolina or Virginia, but this is something a little bit different. We ended up getting like a little motel, a little nice little motel. And yeah, made that drive so in the morning we don't have to drive that long. Uh, three hours or wake up three o'clock in the morning and then go to the place. The place is gonna be about 20 minutes from us. So I think we're the only people out here. But we will see you guys in the morning, man. I think it's gonna be a cold morning, bro. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Boys, it is cold. It is 20. 33 degrees right now, man. Oh my gosh. So let's see. Today's high is 58. So it's gonna be a pretty cold morning. We're gonna try to get on, boys. It is, uh, right now it's about 7 a.m. We should be getting on the water around 8, almost 8 a.m. We're gonna stop at this pretty dope uh, tackle shop Shago's talking about. But you guys stay tuned, man. Let's get it. <laughs> we are almost ready, man. It's about to go down. You can hear the water just running down the rocks, man. It's crazy. Like, I don't know if you could, if that's the GoPro's picking that up, but when I get down there, you're gonna be able to hear it more. Woo, this is gonna make today awesome. Oh, that shit gets slippery. There's a trout right here in front of my face. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, sweet. I, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I sight fished him. <laughs> wow, look at that guy. <laughs> All right. Come here, little guy. What's the best way to hold Just him? Hold him. I guess yeah, we'll. Oh, he's that little guy. <laughs> wow, so sick. I don't even have glasses or anything and I still sight fish that fish. So that was cool. That was a really pretty fish. <laughs> nice little guy. Look at that guy. So sick. We fishing, boys. <laughs> Take these bad uh, boys. Ah. <sighs> 
<laughs> Got another one. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> oh yeah. So sick. He's beautiful, man. It's bricky. It's a, another brown? It's a brook trout. Oh really? Yep. Let me uh, take these gloves off real quick. Alright, I'm gonna get my hands wet so I can touch this beautiful beast. Oh, no, no, no. I just want to at least get the colors. They're so soft, dude. He's just right there. I wish I could go underwater for you guys, but he's just chilling. You might be able to actually see that. <laughs> So legit, dude. All right, guys. So I already caught a brook trout. That was freaking awesome. Caught two of them already. Um, this is crazy to be actually in the water like this. I never thought fishing for these little itty bitty trout were going to be really cool. I was kind of going for all the big ones, all the massive fish like that. But I was thinking about it, and when I caught them, there was it's just so freaking rewarding, dude. We came out here. It was a three and a half hour drive. We came all the way out here to, I don't even know where the heck we are, Shago knows. I'm gonna put the link down right here. Probably gonna put a little arrow and put the location right here. But we came out to like the middle of nowhere, three and a half hours, uh, got a hotel for like 88 bucks, slept, woke up at bright and early in the morning, got all of our stuff ready. Went, um, this morning there was like frost on the car. I'm gonna play a little clip, man. There was frost on the car. So I was worried about the weather. I was worried about a lot of things, but when we got out here, you just notice how peaceful and how cool it is to get out here and get on the water. The water is crystal clear. Lost my shades somewhere. No idea where my shades are, but the water right now is just crystal clear. Even without shades, you can see this, man. I would love to have some, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and get out there. But uh, Shago hasn't caught one yet. Or Shago, you caught one, right? Yeah, Shago caught one. I caught two, lost a little small one. But did y'all see those trout, man? Those are beautiful. It's just really cool getting out here, man. And y'all stay tuned for some more fish. Dude, it's so peaceful out here, man. I was telling Shago earlier how it's so awesome being just outdoors and being closer to the water and that I was gonna do like a more camping adventures just because of how cool nature is. and. I don't know, dude, just the outdoors has just been crazy lately, like, unreal for me. I never thought I'd be, like, an outdoors guy. I thought I was kind of a city boy, but when I got into bass fishing a couple of years ago, you know, maybe two years ago, it was just, like, I had to get out, man. And now I just, I spend most of my time outdoors, so, like, 90% of the time I'm outdoors. If not, I'm, like, editing videos and doing things like that, but I really love the outdoors, and to be out here in the freaking water... <laughs> and some waders catching trout. There's nothing like it, man. It's so nice. If you guys haven't done something like this, I definitely suggest you do something like this because it's it's legit. It really is. I thought I was just a bass fisherman, man. I like all kind of fish. That's it. And they were so like soft, dude. It feels like kind of like suede, like suede with muscle. <laughs> oh, got another one. <laughs> Come here. So what I'm doing is just throwing this bad boy out there and letting it basically float and letting the water make it um vibrate. Come here. Oh, another one, dude. Legit. I don't know which one this one is. <laughs> so sick, dude. Unreal. Gonna get to the bank real quick. You got another one. <laughs> Unreal. Throw the gloves over there. And then get my hands wet. Get the hands wet. Okay. Okay, that hook came out. Nice and easy. So this is a different one, I'm assuming. Both hands are wet. Brown Look trout. at this one, another brown trout, yeah? That thing is beautiful, man. All right, we're gonna let this beautiful thing go, man. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I guess that's the part of <laughs> trout fishing. 
no idea where he went, but they like to just hang out when you let them go. I don't know if he's like somewhere around. God, that's so God. sick, man. Dude. So, we have extremely light line. So let me tell you, let, let me run you through the setup real quick. We have extremely light line. And by the way, Shago set all this shit up, dude. I couldn't ask for more, man. It's so legit that he was willing to do all this for me. But we have an extremely light rod. We have an extremely small reel. I'm pretty sure this is a, let's see. This is a five foot reel, ultra light. So we're not out here playing games. I mean, this is like shorter than me, really small reel, and everything is just small and compact. So when we're out here on this river, we're making sure that we can make these easy casts. And this thing is like so light, you wouldn't believe it, but right now it's delayed harvest, which means that we can't keep any of the fish and we have to use single hooks. So we can't be using like all kind of crazy things. You have to use a single hook. So we're using that and then um, just making sure that we're taking care of the fish and taking care of everything like that, keeping our hands wet, making sure that we're not keeping any fish and all that good stuff. But that's what we're using, man. Really light line, really light tackle um, and just getting it done. Like I can cast this thing pretty far with no problem. Just a single little thrust of the wrist, and I'm halfway across the uh, creek, so really cool. So we're trying to get to where the water is not too bad, so we can get on some more trout. Seems to be flowing real fast right here, but we shall see. Look at this guy. Zooming through here. That was legit. <laughs> that one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh my gosh, legitness. <laughs> legitness, man. Get these gloves off. Might just have to go no gloves for the rest of the day. Another beautiful, just absolutely beautiful, man. Was it a good one? Son, that boy Shago had him a monster, bro. That ride was bent, dude. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 